Hello everybody, I'm Gene Grishan and I'm going to teach you guys about SPAT today. SPAT are the names for baby oysters. Um, and This bucket of shells I have right here is covered in lots of SPAT. Um, now when referring to SPAT, we are speaking of the little tiny oysters that are growing on this larger oyster. So at one time, this large shell was a living oyster. It is now dead, but on it are at least 10, at least probably 10 to 20 baby spat on this one shell alone. Um, when it comes to the spat, it's very important to be able to tell a live spat from dead spat. Um, so a live spat will generally be dark and kind of raised, um, such as these three right here. Um, this dark spot is where the muscle attached on the adult oyster, um, so that can be kind of misleading. Uh, but dead spat will look almost like a round circle, um, such as this spot, or there's a few white uh, spoon-shaped circles on this side. Um, that is from their top shell has fallen off, so they were no longer able to survive. So what we're going to do, we want to see how our spat are doing. Um, we're going to take account of how many live spat we have, and then we'll also uh, measure some of our spat. So let's start off with a good easy shell. Um, so this shell right here, I see one, two, three, four, five, six dead spat, but I also see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight alive spat. Um, so that's a pretty good number on this shell. Remember, it's tough growing up as a spat. Um, they've got a lot of predators. You've got a lot of conditions that have to be just right for you to set up perfectly. Um, but once uh, some of these start growing, these have actually gotten pretty big. Uh, so we'll measure these. This spat, when we measure a spat, we're going to start from the hinge, which is generally the lighter color of the shell, um, and we're going to measure all the way across to the mouth. Uh, but we're, we've made these rollers out of paper so we can bend them right on top. So this one is a three. This one is a and a half. That's a fire truck. Two. And we have a two. This one is probably also So what we'll do is we'll typically measure all of these shells, go to the whole uh, basket of shells um, and have all the students measure them um, and then we'll come up with an average. Um, so for our average, what we're going to do, we're going to be adding up the total number of uh, the sizes of spat and then dividing by the number we have, um, creating our average because it makes the data a lot easier to look at and compare to other data. 